everyone, back to the Evermore YouTube channel. It's Chris back with my rant stroke thought of the day. Warning, this is another rant, unfortunately. Um, disgraceful scenes uh, in football we saw yesterday. Great scenes for us as Newcastle fans, it's got to be said. 4-1 win over Brighton, as I said in the post-match. Uh, one more win and we secure Champions League. We will be in Europe next season. And maybe this is something that we have to concern ourselves with as well. But no, I'm not talking about Newcastle United. I'm talking about... Uh, West Ham United on this one. We're not a West Ham podcast, as you obviously know, uh, but we do have a soft spot for West Ham. Mikel Antonio is great friends with Callum Wilson, who scored again for us last night, and they do a great football uh, podcast together, football footballers podcast. Um, and Antonio was playing in this game. So, so what happened was West Ham get the good bit out of the way first. West Ham have qualified for the first European final since 1976. Pablo Fornal scored in the 94th minute. Brilliant for West Ham, brilliant for those West Ham fans. Uh, they've had tough years over the years. They've potentially one point like they were going down this year. But to qualify for a European final, get a chance to lift the European trophy is absolutely brilliant for them. They look safe in the Premier League now. So the end of the season has worked really well for West Ham. But what marred this game was the disgusting scenes that we saw at the end of the game with the AZ Alkmaar fans storming the West Ham fans. Um, now, I know apparently there was a little bit of this in the first leg as well, but I'm, I, I didn't see that, so I'm going to get into this one. Um, you know, if there was a bit of that in the first leg, then shame on the West Ham fans for doing that to the Alkmaar um, families or, you know, uh, players' families and supporters as well. But this one I did see, and it was absolutely disgusting, to be honest. It was a throwback to a, a dark day of football that we thought was long behind us. So so these lads, um, Alkmaar lads, most of them looking like young lads wearing hoodies, stormed the West Ham uh, pop stand or where the West Ham fans were in the Alkmaar Stadium um, and just basically, you know, were throwing haymakers in, wanting to fight. Now, what was really alarming about this is this is where a lot of the players' families were. So the West Ham players even reacted as anybody would do if a family was under threat. Now, you know, I'm not condoning violence. You know, we don't want to get kicked off YouTube for that. But if someone comes and tries to attack your family, you do what you need to do, what you have to do to protect them. So a lot of the West Ham players were getting trying to get dragged away by the stewards. Um, that was looking a bit ugly as well. There is footage of, uh, of one West Ham fan, uh, well-known West Ham fan amongst the fan base, just absolutely battering these kids off one at a time, a bit like fucking Neo in the Matrix or something like that. Um, so credit to him uh, for trying to protect himself and the people around him. Um, but this is just disgusting. We don't need to see this in football at all. Um, massive, massive uh, spotlight needs to be shone on Alkmaar and the way they police these games. Now, we're quite lucky. We've got uh, Dai as part of our podcast team who lives over in the Netherlands and he, he's very knowledgeable on, on the Netherlands football and he said that there's a huge policing problem as a Simon who watches every football game there is in the world by the sound of it. But there's a real policing problem with the, the Dutch football where you know fans can just move around the stadiums willy-nilly. We saw this with Eddie Howe getting attacked by a Leeds fan or accosted by a Leeds fan. It's way worse over in the Netherlands. There's not enough police. There's not enough stewarding. Fans seem to get in the positions. I think uh, former Newcastle left-back Jethro Williams got punched in the face apparently not too long ago. So it's absolutely disgusting. In Dutch football, you need to sort your shit out and big time. If your fans are running onto the pitch and doing things like that, it's giving your league a bad name. Absolutely, 100%. I would fully condone Alkmaar to be binned from European football for a five-year ban after this kind of behaviour. That's the kind of punishment that the likes of UEFA need to take on these kind of things. It's absolutely disgusting. Again, I can't comment on what happened in a home leg if that did happen. Um, I never saw anything. Um, you know, you, you could potentially say, did the UK press not cover that as well as is the word done in this one? I don't know. But I never saw the West Ham fans causing the bother so I can't comment on that I did see this and it was absolutely disgusting it was like a scene out of Football Factory or Green Street or something like that it's got no place in the modern game in 2023 and that's players families in there there's kids in there have a fucking word with yourself most of them look like teenage meths with their hoods up thick and they're big hard men I'm sure they weren't when they got a hold of that big unit who put them on their arse uh, in the West Ham stand you know don't write checks that your arse can't cash lads learn the lesson don't get sparked out at a football game it's not big it's not clever and also you'll get banned from football and I think that's what the, the, the governing bodies have to do the governing bodies aren't particularly great let's be honest honest with you we've seen scenes I guess before they're not particularly great at punishing anybody for anything so I wouldn't hold my breath that they are going to do anything on this but it's a real shame that this is marred what's a massive night for West Ham and their fans um, by by just this violence um, um, coming out you know there's a good chance some of the West Ham players might be in trouble as well you know I saw a few punches being uh, swung a few kicks being flung by a West Ham player so they're probably going to get themselves in trouble as well which is is, is not right really given the, the, the nature of the, of the situation 
I really hope that none of those players end up getting banned for this final. Probably the biggest game of their career, a lot of them, and a chance to win a trophy for their club. But yeah, these are scenes that don't belong in football anymore. We want to eradicate them, want to see them gone. And shame on the AZ Altmar fans who have done that. You know, like I say, they look like a bunch of scruffy little meths who would probably just fancy the fight. If they weren't in the ground, they would have had a fight outside of the ground. But but as we're going to qualify for Europe as Newcastle United, whether it be Champions League, which hopefully it will be, or Europa, these are the kind of things that we have to be concerned about and we have to be very cautious about when we travel around Europe supporting our great football club. Don't get yourself in situations with these fucking idiots who are going to try and come and have a fight with you. And God knows what they're carrying in the pocket, especially if the policing is so slack in the stadium. So really worrying. Governing bodies, get a hold of this. Alkmaar, come out with a statement. Condemn your fans. Ban those fans. At least ban those fans who did that, just like Leeds United did for that fan who accosted Eddie Howe. You need to do better. You need to sort yourselves out. Do not let your supporters ruin your name as a football club by behaving in such a bad way. So that's me done for the rant of the day. Again, not entirely Newcastle United <laughs> related. A little bit of Newcastle in there, which we always try to do. But if you like this kind of thing, click subscribe, come and join us. We've got loads of new subs. We're on 3,420-something, I think. So loads of you click that button. You do seem to like these rant videos. I'm happy to do them um, as much as there's plenty to rant about, which there always seems to be in the wonderful game of football. Like the video, help get it around YouTube, help it grow. Uh, we're buzzing as Newcastle fans. Well done, West Ham. Got to say, well done to your players. Well done to David Moyes, who's really turned it around after people were calling for the guy to be sacked. Massive respect to him, massive respect to the likes of Declan Rice, Michael Antonio and the rest of the lads. And I really hope you win that European trophy and I hope that Alkmaar get the punishments they deserve for behaving so badly. Have a great day everyone, we'll catch you later. Cheers.